Hi, welcome to Chambord Rinse. Today we'll be showing you how we create this irresistible hand screen printed wallpaper. Come on in, we'll show you how it's done. Here you see our Master Colorist Mixing Screen Printing Ink. You can see that he's doing everything by hand and by eye, not by formula. And take a look at how rich these colors are. There's really nothing like screen printing ink to get color this vibrant and this thick. This really goes onto the paper with a, uh, uh, God, just depth of color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here, look at it. Here our colorist is comparing a swatch that represents the color he already has to our master sample. Anytime we do a production of this paper we have to make sure that our colorist matches this sample exactly. That way we maintain consistency every time we do a production. So our colorist has noticed that the brown was a little bit light so he's going to darken it. The reason that he's doing this by hand and not by formula is that it's very much like a master chef working in a kitchen. Sometimes working from a recipe will actually slow him down. Our colorist is so experienced that this is how he works the fastest. Here you see the colorist applying all of the colors that he has to check to a squeegee. Because our wallpaper is screen printed, the colorist needs to check the colors by screen printing them. And there's a lot to think about while he's doing this. He's thinking about the order that he's placing these colors on the squeegee. He's thinking about how much ink to use. He's thinking about how much pressure he's going to need to put on the screen. There's a lot to do. He does it all very well. And the goal here is to get these colors as close as he can get them to how they will appear when printed with the design screen. And here we go. Voila! The next step is strike off to see if the colors look just as good as they do here when they're printed with the actual design screen. Here's our strike off printer applying the color that our colorist created to the screen that is used for this particular design. Again, he's testing only for color. So this print is not going to go to the client. This print is just to tell us whether or not the color that our master created is correct. The reason that we do this in addition to a swatch is that, as you can see, we have 11 colors here and we need to make sure they look right when they are placed on top of one another and when they are used with this particular screen. This is basically one of our modes of quality control. This is one of the reasons our colors come out so consistent every time we produce this paper. Here is a design where the strike off has already been completed, so we're moving on to production. You can see that four colors have been completed, so next we're going to see our printer adding the fifth color. So here is the printer with his fifth screen. This is the fifth time that he's gone over this design. This design has a total of nine colors, so he's ultimately going to have to go over it nine times. While he's walking, you can see the richness of the color that we talked about earlier in this video. There's really nothing like screen printing to get this kind of thick, rich color. There is a lot of subtlety in what he's doing, where to place the screen, the amount of pressure to put on the screen, how many times he goes over the screen with the squeegee, and that all comes from years of experience. Now you can see here how long this table is. 
So he has to go all the way up the length of this table. I'm going to walk the length of the table right now. It's a whole city block. Phew, okay. So you can see that there are four table lengths here. So in a design like this one with nine colors, the printer actually has to go up and down the table 36 times. Impressive. So now we can see our finished project. This is a nine color design. It's consistent across the whole length of the table. And this is ready to ship out to our client.